Hello and welcome. In this video I want to talk about the parallax component of the UIKit framework. You might know parallax scrolling, um, which is an effect where you, um, when you scroll on a website, um, some element will change its properties depending on um, the scroll position that you have. Sometimes it's used for background images, but it can, can be used for any element on the page. So in this video we will recreate this effect here from the medium.com website um, where when we scroll up this headline element scrolls downwards a bit and it slowly fades out. For this I've prepared a, a simple example. We have a large header image and a headline in front. When I scroll now nothing happens but we will create this effect in this short video. And at the end you will find the complete code on GitHub because I've created a, a GitHub repository containing all the examples that I'm creating throughout the series. So let's have a look at the code that I've prepared. Um, as you can see I'm loading the UIKit CSS, I'm loading some custom CSS just for the styling of the text and the image. Um, I'll show you this in a bit. I'm loading jQuery because UIKit always requires jQuery. Um, if you're using the JavaScript components. I'm using the UIKit um, core JavaScript and also because this is an additional component I'm loading the Parallax component a JavaScript file in here. As you can see here, whoops, we have a we have a header and inside that I have an inner container um, which contains the headlines. Let's have a quick look at the example CSS file. Um, as you can see here the header has a background image and then this inner container with the headlines is basically just positioned in the center um, and it has some padding to yeah, give it some room around. And the, the rest is just some styling of typography and responsive behavior. You don't have to worry about that now. You can have a look at that later in the example code. So let's get started. Um, this image, uh, this element here is uh, the one that we want to animate while we are scrolling. Um, and as you might remember, in UIKit when you use the JavaScript components, you always use the data UK attributes. So in this case it's data UK parallax. And um, now we can pass parameters to this component and tell it how it should change this element while we are scrolling. As always, when we are passing parameters to the JavaScript components, we are doing that in um, yeah, this kind of JSON syntax. And um, so we're using curly braces. And now um, let's start with a very simple example. Um, let's change the opacity. In the beginning, the opacity of the element is one and at the end of the animation, we want to have it at zero. So what we can do here is just tell it um, some property. This can be most CSS properties actually that you can change. Um, I've put a few down here um, just so we can see that. Um, but let's start with the opacity. And let's have a have a quick look. Okay, it looks uh, the way it should look. And when we are scrolling, as you can see, it slowly fades out. You can barely see it because by default, um, the it changes the value so that um, the final value of zero is reached when the element is scrolled out of the viewport completely. Let's change that and have it um, appear. Uh, let's have it yeah disappear a bit earlier. For that we can use the viewport parameter and yeah by default it is one which means that it's basically a, a range like um, when we when the element has scrolled out of the viewport completely um, then we want the animation to be finished. Let's change this to 0.5 so now we should only have to scroll half the distance and the element has disappeared completely, but we still have some, some way left to scroll. Um, I prefer a bit more subtle way, so I'll change this to 0.7. Yeah, this is nice. All right, now um, when we scroll down, we want to have this, no, when we scroll up, we want to have this element scroll in the opposite direction. Um, we can do that by using the translate x um, CSS3 property, but actually the component here offers a shortcut. Um, so we can just have the um, x, oh no, sorry, that's a mistake. Of course, um, x is in the 
um, like in the horizontal direction, but we want to change the vertical direction, so it's it's the Y property. Um, and let's just have, I don't know, 100 pixels maybe. Yeah, this looks quite nice. All right. Um, then, as you can, um, I want to sh show you one more thing that I wouldn't, I wouldn't use in this effect, but I want just want to show you something, because here, as you can see, I'm only using one value, but the animation, of course, is always from value A to value B. In this case, uh, the start value is the one that the element has by default. So with the opacity, it is um, the opacity of one, and then it will animate to zero. But what if we actually want to give it the start and the end value? Um, I'm just showing you that with the rotate property. So let's say I want to have it rotate to 10 degrees. So now it's zero degrees and it will slowly rotate away. But what if we have and we have two properties um, at two, like the start and the end value, we'll put this in quotes, give it a start value, comma, and the end value. So now it's rotated by minus 10 degrees and it will slowly rotate to plus 10 degrees. Yeah, so that's very cool. Um, I'm just going to get rid of that because <laughs> I don't like how this looks. And one more thing I want to show you is uh, you can actually nest those. Um, so on this um, parent element, we have the background image. And um, as you can see here, uh, we can animate the the background image uh, position um, with the BG shortcut. So again, uh, curly braces, BG for background, and we'll say um, animate this to an offset of 100 pixels. Uh, you can see it if you look at this line, it's very subtle. But yeah, it's, it looks like the background image is scrolling a bit slower than the um, than my actually scrolling here. Um, yeah, um, I think you shouldn't overdo it with all these effects um, because it might really like um, make for worse uh, experience on your website. But I think that it's uh, this is a very nice component to um, add very subtle effects to be, yeah just enrich your content without taking away uh, from your content. Um, so yeah, that's it for what I wanted to show you about this component. So you, um, go check out the documentation on the UIKit website and um, I'll put this on GitHub so you can check it out online and I'll put the link down in the description. Thanks for watching.